the first game that we're streaming in singles bracket. Luis versus Eshi. Have you seen Eshi before? Uh, I played him in team, team with Tove. Uh, never, never really seen him. Okay, so and Luis is playing far. Yeah, 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 that's what I. Yeah, that's what I thought. Eshi looks pretty good. I've never, never seen him. Yeah, he had a pretty tight aerials, like good timing. Uh, oh, Randall almost grabs him. Yeah. That's the Falco curse right there. You get poked off stage, and that's it. Well, it's not the curse, right? It's like his life. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's his only weakness, too. His one weakness. So this is uh, Marth Falco is a pretty interesting matchup. Uh, like NMW was saying, man, Marth has some sick edge guards once Falco's off stage. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun to edge guard as Marth. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Marth does does pretty well. He takes lots of damage when he gets hit, but so does everybody versus Falco. But he's got a lot of a lot of tools of his own. So tra yeah. Traditionally, uh, people like the stage as Marth, but nowadays I think Spacey's really love the stage too. Yeah. Um, which is weird to me, because yeah. like, I, I don't know, man. I think the stage is just amazing for Marth. Like, how do you move around? Look at him, oh. Tip. You're dying. Yeah, the tippers are so easy to set up on the stage. Questionable uh, get up attack by Luis. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I love Falco's forward throw. Have I ever told you that? <laughs> no, you just love you how just it looks. He just grabs him. Oh, grab him! He missed, and he just oh. punches you. Uh. Yeah, dude. Throws with some gusto for sure. Ooh. So once once nice. Marth gets the person, oh, oh, oh the tipper! Great follow up by Luis. That up tilt into tipper. Once Marth gets any character on the platform, it's bad news for the other characters. So. Yeah, especially on this stage. Look at this get up tag. He just swings his sword so far. He's like, let's go. Yeah, you know I'm good at spacing against other characters' get up attacks, but Marth does really go far. Ooh. Oh. Oh. No L cancel there. Could have been a uh, could have been an uptill follow up, but uh, didn't quite get it. Eshi is really having trouble getting in on Louis. Uh. Yeah, I mean it has looked like a pretty close match to me outside of uh, just that one zero to death. He really got he really got manhandled that one stock. Eshi hasn't really gotten any like beefy hits in the neutral at all. Oh Ooh. wow. Okay. That was a pretty rough DI, but he makes it back anyway. Ooh! The Nair. Nair from Marth has a pretty good pretty good hitbox. Pretty good knockback. Oh! And the classic wave dash back forward smash. So in the neutral game, Luis got a lot of strong, like, meaty hits, and Eshi was getting, like, grabs and stuff. Falco, grabs are fine, but they don't lead to much. It shows that Luis was shielding, but he wasn't getting punished for it, really. He gets punched. Yeah, I, he did get punched. I love the sound that that makes too. That one, or the like. Yeah. So I think Eshi, from his style, is probably going to battlefield. Yeah. He was Wait, what, just, what do you mean from his style? Oh, he he plays pretty calculated, not too aggro, but he also stays pretty close. He's not running away, but he's not just you know approaching right away either. And so if he was running away more, where would he have gone? Dreamland. Or Stadium. Probably Dreamland. So, yeah, Battlefield is the nice middle ground where you get some space, but you also, like, there's no runaway game, really. That was a great tag. Yeah. I think you really need to know your double jump sweet spots. Uh, pretty oh, yeah. much as every character, but especially as a fast follower versus Marth. Like, because yeah. uh, he's just going to do those throws of the ledge, and then, like, you need to be able to grab the ledge without getting hit. That's pretty important. Yeah, Mars down tilt is such a good tool for punishing bad sweet spots. Oh. Oh, wiggle out air dodge. Yeah. That's good stuff. Wiggling out isn't actually that hard. People need to no, do that more. Yeah, it's not. But it's like everything in melee where, you know, your brain just doesn't say, hey, I should do that. Yeah, actually. You just have to have a muscle memory for it and, like, a brain kind of thing. I practice a lot with Susie and Kevin, and I notice Susie mashes out of grabs so fast in teams. I wish I could get that muscle memory down myself. Yeah. Same Because we thing. all know we should mash out of grabs, but, like, we just don't. Yeah, I, I think about DI and think about other things. Eshi using my favorite move is Falco. Uh, forward air. Dead, yeah. <laughs> Why do you love the forward air? Because so he just, like, kicks you a bunch of times. Yeah. Bop, 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 bop. 
In Washington, they call it Crazy Legs. I think it's a good name. Uh, I actually really like Flutter Hush, which Flutter is kind of like the fine. most popular name for the move. Aww. Besides whatever Nintendo called it. Which probably like, uh, <laughs> just Falco, Tornado Kicks, actually. Falco Fast tornado legs. Kicks. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. yeah Why do you know that? I just, you know, I know 10 names or something. That's one of the few I know. Good counter. It was a good counter, but not the optimal punish afterwards. Because, like, Marth has a free, like, runoff forward air after counter, I feel like. Because whenever I counter somebody and I come off stage, I just, like, walk forward off the stage and forward air and they die. Yeah. Once so, Falco's uh, beneath the stage, it should be done. Like, there it should have been done. Yeah, a lot of on stage edge guarding from Luis, so I, you know. It's definitely a stylistic thing, like, you know, I guess you can make it work, but I I do feel like the offstage edge guards from Marth are super good. Yeah, and I don't think they're that hard either, to be honest. Uh, if you know Falcon's going to go beneath the stage, you just run off and then chase him. But, uh, you know, some people just don't want to go down there. Yeah. It's, a, I it's an abyss. That. I I understand not wanting to go anywhere near that hole. You'll never see your family again. <laughs> Yeah, it just feels risky. Like even even when it's not, that you have to have some like some guts. It takes time. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. NMW it takes time. Luis also plays a lot more Fox these days than Marth. So uh -huh. maybe his Marth ledge guards aren't on point. Oh, we got a reset after that down smash. I think that he did not have his double jump, so that's gonna be that. In other words, a good reset. So I don't think he was coming back. These guys are pretty evenly matched, though. I like what we're seeing. So here we are. So the Marth picked this stage. That's interesting. Dude, Stadium is like apparently good for Marth now. Yeah. After many, many years, and I've said this several times in commentary, but like after many years of this being a, a Fox Falco stage, people have realized, or like that, I don't know, something's changed where people just know that Marth up tilting on the platforms is, is like sick. These platforms are great for Marth combos. Another thing is that people who don't play fast fallers always whine about top platforms nowadays. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Falco well, goes to the top platform. Well, it's mostly about the recovery, right? Because, like, Falco can't, he can't recover to a top platform. He has to come, he has yeah. to come down to a spot where up tilt will hit him. Yeah, and the, the platforms are really far into this stage, so it doesn't really help recovery at all. Maybe uh, Illusion Ledge cancel, but that's about it. Oh, Ooh. oh, wow. That was a he died to the blast zone from a fair. Yeah. Wow. That's some severe DI. Oh. Yeah, I think to get that KO, that was a really good good awareness that that double, that second forward air would hit. Oh. oh. That's it. Oh, wow, nice tech. Oh. So I think after that jab, he may have just been able to roll on stage. but. Uh, yeah, I thought it was done, but... <laughs> well, it, it's definitely hard to tell, but the more you play, you know, you, you just start to see situations and you just know oh. what characters you can recover from. Because, like, yeah, you could. I think you definitely could have grabbed the ledge there, too. Luis but. is doing a good job reading of, like, reading the guys, not his dash dance, but just, like, knowing when he doesn't want to fight. Yeah. He just ran in with an air and knocked him off so easily there. Okay. Ooh. Easy ledge guard. Yeah, the only thing you have to... Oh. Whoa! Does he have a jump? Yes, he does. Okay. See, like... Great text from DSHI... Dishi. Because, like, without those, he's definitely down another stock. You're definitely right, though. Lu Luis should be going down there and, like, just ending him. Don't give him the chance to tech. That's one of the one of the big things about melee. So, like, the, the game is really free form, and there's, like, so... There's countless situations. So, you know, what a lot of good players tend to do is they tend to like no situations that uh, they have a big advantage in and like simplify. Because if you let Falco do whatever recovery he wants, like he can pick different angles on his up B. There's a bunch of different things that are out of your control. But if he's up B and you go out there, it's like a one player game. Yeah. And there are so few situations where you actually have that one player game, I control, you know, what's actually gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, a pretty, a somewhat easy and actually really good ledge guard is a uh, reverse up B. Luis could definitely Dude, try doing Dude, I actually think it. that's friggin' hard. Yeah. Um, the hitbox is oh, hitbox is bigger than it looks. But that's, that's my problem. I always want to hit them <laughs> with like the Mewtwo King yeah. uh, hitbox. Yeah, when you watch Mewtwo King, you swear it's like as big as a nair or something. Oh, it's good stuff from Dishi. So, fire transformation, I think, is really good for spaces. Uh, I think most transformations are bad for Marth, right? Whoa. Yeah. Definitely, the transformations just favor spaces in general. 
against any character. Luis just has to close this out. He needs he needs very little to actually like take a convincing uh, advantage. But I think like if if uh, Dishy is at 71, I said okay, so he's not now, and I feel a lot better if I'm Luis. But if he was at 71, like you start to feel nervous. Ooh. The now that he's over 100. The tree oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Got to be careful about that. Don't sleep on that. So Luis did a pretty bad nair there, and he got punished pretty hard. But And you're saying it's bad because, like, Falco's obviously coming from above you, right? So, like, up air would have been a way better choice. Yeah, the nair hitbox just is not nearly as big yeah, as some of his other moves. It's not an do. upwards hit. Whoa! Yeah. And Dishy, I think maybe he thought that he didn't have a double jump. I think that he did. But uh, Luis clutching it out wins two.